Hi, it's Handy Val with another step-by-step -step DIY auto video. If you have slow-moving windows, you'll want to watch this. Or if you don't have slow-moving windows and you want to avoid slow-moving windows, you'll also want to watch this. So in this video, I'm going to fix my slow-moving power windows in my 1992 Mercedes SL. So let's get to it. First, let's start with the low-hanging fruit. This will be the first part of the video that focuses on what you can see. That's the upper part of the door. Afterwards, I'll focus on what's behind the door panel. And this video is all about lubrication and using the right lubricants. For the upper part, we want to lubricate the door rubber channels. Now in this case, because it's a convertible, where are the rubber channels? I mean, in this case, you'll see it. I mean, here's some of it here. You want to lubricate this part. But again, you want to be careful depending on what you lubricate it with because if you're going to use some sloppy lubrication, then that's going to show up on your window. And you don't want that to happen either. So in this case, the only real place where you could use serious lubrication is this part here. And this part could be a serious drag on why your window isn't rolling up quickly. So we're going to want to lubricate behind this. And in this case, we'll also use a lubrication. We'll use something that you know, isn't going to be sticky and it's going to dry on and, and ensure that there will be a decent glide without ever of it showing up along the window. Okay, so with the windows rolled down, we want to get grease into this channel. Okay? And what we're using isn't just any regular grease, right? You're dealing with rubber, compo rubber components here, which means you got to use a silicone-based lubricant. Now, what I'm, what I'm using is part of the Super Lube. I kind of like this. Uh, it's silicone lubricating grease. It says brake grease here, but don't worry about it. Anyways, any lubricating silicone would work. Now, in this case, I'm going to use a popsicle stick. You want to get some in there on your hand. Somehow get in there, you know, push it in there. Uh, you could also use a uh, Q-tip that helps. Your finger, maybe. And again, you just want to kind of get it in there as best you can, okay? Now you can tell if you come a little closer here, you know, it's going to get, could be a little sloppy, but you're going to want to afterwards clean up a little bit with a, with a rag. Again, just get it in there, feel free, okay? Now, that's what we're using here, and that's pretty much done, and we'll roll the window up a few times. So in this case, we're still going to, we could still use the silicone grease. I'm just going to show you what happens. I'm actually going to use my finger here, right? So, again, this would be the part where the window goes up. So the issue with this is, as you can see, right, it's kind of, it's greasy, right? And it is going to remain that way. And you could try with a microfiber, kind of just afterwards, kind of just maybe beating on it a little bit, just to get rid of the wetness, okay? That's one option, okay? Now, the other option would be you're using you're using the silicone, water-resistant silicone, and roughly do the same kind of thing, right? You're going to want to get it. It's going to kind of come down. Again, you don't want to... You're going to wipe it down just a little bit, right? Okay. I'm going to try it a few times. It's actually very uh, good for the rubber as well. Um, you, know, you can make it let it sit there for a while. So I don't know. I don't know which way is better. You know, I think definitely using the silicone grease as we have over here, you know, certainly does create a nice slippery surface as opposed to this. I mean, this certainly isn't bad. It certainly moisturizes the rubber. But in this case, I think we're better off using the silicone grease. And what I'm going to do here. We're going to put some more of this on, and we're just going to kind of go over that, over it, over it, over it. Okay, now some doors, you know, if you don't have a convertible, it'll be a channel. It'll be a lot easier. So that's what you're going to do. Uh, and this is where the door rides. Remember, you're just going to want to just come across it, okay? Just certainly come across it. Wipe it off. Again, the issue, though, with this would be if you don't wipe it off, um, it's going to show up on the window. Okay, so that's not bad, right? That's pretty good. And then the other spot you're going to want to do is also this part over here. Okay, because that is a point of friction as well. Again, the same sort of concept. Put a little bit of this on your finger, and you're going to want to just kind of just do the same kind of thing. Okay. 
you're going to want to do is go up a few times. So there you can see, you know, it's not, not the fastest, obviously. Now it starts to pick up some lubrication there. And you can sort of see it there, right? It's not exactly perfect, but you don't, it doesn't drag on the window. Okay, that's the beauty about it, right? You just kind of see it. It's picking up silicone, but never really bothers you. Okay, now we're going to close the door. It's not bad. Do it a couple of times. So there is the friction, right? It's a little slow. So that was the easy part of the windows lubrication part. Now, in the second part of the video, I'm going to get into what's behind the door panel. So that's really the more difficult part of this step-by-step uh, -step video on how to ensure your windows are going up in the fastest possible motion. Now, I have another video that shows you how to remove the door panel on the Mercedes SL R129 models. You could watch that. It's in my video collection and I'll also try to point to a link in the description. All right, but for now let's get to what's behind the door panel. Okay, and so we've got the door panel off and the speakers all out and what I want to do in this video is show you how to make the power windows roll up and down a lot easier. Now this is a 1992 Mercedes-Benz you know R129. The window mechanism works but it's showing its age. It's a little slow. And the reason why, uh, it's not that the motor is losing its power, the motor is getting weak. What's happening here is that the gliders, where the uh, power windows go up and down, you can see one over here. Okay, you can sort of see that one over there. It's kind of getting grimy and it's kind of baked on grease and grime on both sides. Okay, now you can sort of, you won't, you, now, You'd be surprised because you got this opening here where the speaker is. You can certainly get your hands all the way up through there. And now the other one, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to make a gash here with a box cutter to give us access to the other glide that's that's over here. Now the tools I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using now because you know this is a although it's a metal part. There's a lot of metal here. There are some plastic parts. So because of that, I'm using silicone. Okay. And at the same time, I'm also using a multi-purpose synthetic grease that's actually supposed to be quite good for metal on metal contact, but won't damage plastic parts. So that's quite critical, okay? You don't want to use any sort of petroleum-based grease products as you may, you know, certainly may work in the meantime, though both, both uh, this synthetic grease versus the petroleum-based grease They'll both do the same. You know, you won't actually notice notice any difference when you actually put it on. They'll, they'll, they'll both sound fantastic. They'll both work reasonably well. But what you will notice is that through the years, you may start to get a breakdown of your plastic parts. You don't want that. So you might as well invest in some synthetic type grease. So let's get to it. So first off, let's let's put the gash here, uh, and then let's clean these rods as best as we can or these glides. Just gash this. You want to be very careful because you don't want to break anything in case there's any wires on that side kind of dangling down. So that's all you're going to want to do. Now we're going to tape this up so it's not a not a big deal. Okay, so there you go. Tap it up over there as much and there you start to see it, right? So there you go. You see the component there. It goes far back. You see the, the other glide. Okay, so I've got myself a microfiber rag. I'm going to spray some silicone grease onto it. You know, WD-40 could work. Again, this is more of a, let's let's clean it up. Okay, now the window is up, as you could tell. So we're not going to be touching anything. You just want to go in there um, and just kind of go up and down to try to clean up. So there you go. If you could sort of see that, I've kind of started to clean it. It's kind of guide your hand up there as much as possible. And there you go. Look at that, right? It's quite dirty. That's, that's, that's grimy as grime could be, right? So you're gonna do this again over here. Spray it up. And you're gonna do this a few times, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So you can sort of see, right? See the grime there? Just show you that, just how that's gonna almost disappear. Okay. Okay, I wanna go up and down as far as your hand could go, your arm could go. Clean it up, do it a few times. 
Might as well. When's the next time you're going to do this? Now that you've kind of cleaned it, as you can tell, I've got a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice clean over there. I've just cleaned it. I haven't lubricated anything yet. What you're going to want to do is roll the window down. Okay, so, so you can sort of see the mechanism. Okay, and there's a couple of mechanisms you're going to need to you're going to need to do here. Okay, so let's get let's get to that. Let's roll the window down. All right, so now with the uh, window rolled down all the way. Okay. Now you're going to start to see other parts of the mechanism here. So you can sort of see the glider here, right? So there's the glider. There's a piece of kind of rubber, plastic. Sorry, it's a piece of plastic on that side. That what you're going to want to do uh, is, what I like to do now is spray some silicone. Again, some silicone into the, into the area there. Both sides. Okay. Now at the same time, you don't want to get the, the window dirty. Sometimes we're going to come over to this side here as well. You're going to see the little groove there. You don't want to, I'm going to spray some silicone there. Okay. Make sure you get the other side. Okay. Now the one thing that's going to happen here, now that the window is rolled down, you're going to see the mechanism. Okay. Do you see the mechanism right there? What I like to do is I like to kind of throw some of this silicone grease all over it. And there's also a track. Okay. And I want to, again, use your microfiber again and clean it off, okay? So it's quite, quite dirty there. You're gonna to wanna to use the same sort of technique uh, with the silicone grease, okay? Kind of cleaning that off over there. You're gonna notice it uh, on this side. You won't actually see it. Um, and, you know, whatever parts you can get to, right? You're gonna to wanna to try to manage as best you can, okay? So now, now that I've got that, what I wanna do is so you see this, uh, this black metal piece here? I have to kind of spray some of it. There's a little bit of a groove there. Again, we're just doing, right now we're doing the liquid. Um, see it's a little bit rusty over there, maybe through time. So you're gonna wanna, might as well put some of this. It's gonna act as a lubricant, but at the same time it helps maybe prevent that from oxidizing any further, okay? There's also a little handle right here. See that? You're gonna to wanna to throw some of that silicone grease there too. Maybe on the flip side, on the back side as well. Might as well get it in there. You've just used your, your water resistant silicone, right? You've kind of gone to the uh, gone to the point of friction there. You've kind of just put some in. You've gone over on both sides. You kind of put some in there. Maybe lubricated it a little bit over there. And now what you're going to do is put the windows back up again, okay? Let them ride a couple of times. Ooh, we're not done yet, so you can see that's pretty slow. Now with the windows up, we're going to use our uh, Super Lube Multipurpose Synthetic Grease. Kind of going to get it on your finger, and what you're going to want to do is just Get it all over. Get a nice thin little layer on these gliders, okay? And you're going to want to go, again, all the way up as far as it goes. You're going to want to go and feel it. It's kind of just more of a touchy-feel kind of thing with your hands. You're going to want to go all the way up. Get some on. And all the way up. All the way up. All the way down as well. Um, and just trying to get your, trying to get that grease on all of this metal component all the way down as well. You're going to kind of go the same sort of thing here on this side here as well. Okay, you're going to want to take it and go all the way up as well. Put your hands in there. Uh, and it's a touchy-feely kind of thing up there uh, as far as it goes, as far as your arm could go. Same kind of thing. Both sides, both sides of this. Okay, you're going to want to take it all the way up. Okay. Now the, uh, we've kind of done quite a bit of work. We're going to turn the car back on. We're going to get the windows to roll down one more time. Let's see how they go. It's really pretty quick there. We're going to stop there. piece we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get silicone into the, uh, the mechanism there that kind of goes across the window. Okay, there's a little bit of a channel there and you're gonna to wanna to get it. So, all right, so here's the inside of the panel. So that's where we wanna to try to get the silicone, right over there, okay? You see that? That's a little groove. There's, a, there's some 
stuff over there as well. That's probably some of the original that we tried to peel off. And that kind of goes all the way across. Okay, now there's actually two pieces. One's kind of hidden back here. You won't be able to necessarily get to that easily. So let's try to get silicone onto that. So what I'm going to use is a Q-tip. I've got silicone on a Q-tip. I'm going to kind of get in there. Hopefully you can sort of see that. I'm going to get into that component right there. Okay, can you see that over there? Okay. Some silicone in there. You also want to go on the top a little bit as best you can. And then what you're going to do is again use your use your hand to kind of spread it around as much as possible into that groove. What you're going to want to do now is go ahead with the window a few times up and down. So you can tell it actually is faster. Right? You can tell, right? It's going a bit faster. So with the window up, you're going to want to just inspect the area again. Just make sure it didn't pick up any crap right here. Some crap over there. You see that over there? I'm going to take that out. Uh, have a look. Inspect it. Inspect this other side here as well. Did it, did it, did it any junk travel? Not quite. A few more times. Let's see what happens here. Now that's a lot faster. I don't know. If... Right, so... Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to kind of want to get try to get this thing put back together. Over here I'm going to use some of what's called that duct tape. I'm going to show you how to get to it pretty easily. Up here if you can, you know, I don't know, it seems to be there's some sort of sick, sticky substance on here. I don't think it's going to stick all that properly. I've got some other, some other idea that I could use here. Okay, so first step is let's get some duct tape here. I'm going to show you uh, kind of a mechanism I have to kind of keep this thing in place. All right, so this is the tape I'm going to be using. It's called tuck tape. This is the one they use for interior vapor barriers. Very sticky, works very well. Is going to stick to this very nicely. Okay, we're going to seal that up over here. If you also recall this little piece here around the door check, we're going to close that off as well. And for the at the very top, what we're going to use here is I'm going to use what's this molding repair tape. Uh, it seems to work quite nicely. It's kind of double-sided tape very tacky. I think what we'll do is kind of put it along the edge over here and, and maybe a little bit over there. Uh, kind of it's double-sided, sticks sticks reasonably well. But before we do any of that, what I always like to do, I mean again, you're in, you're in this right now, the window rolled up. What I, what I think makes a lot of sense to do is get your spray can, your rust proofing can, obviously depending on where you, where you live, and you're going to want to just, just, just spray that area spray that area spray it saturate it as much as possible okay as far as as far as you could go I'm gonna come into this side do the same thing get to the bottom of that I think I want to kind of try to get this a little bit back in order okay. get your tape ready I like to do a couple layers of this, okay? So you can kind of go over it and get to this point and just cut it. Okay. You want to seal, get to the top part of it as much as possible, okay? So you still have the bottom part, okay? Let's not worry about that bottom part. I'm going to show you why I don't worry about the bottom part. So we do that. Now you're going to cut another piece off. Probably get to do one more, right? Let's do one more, maybe like right over here. Okay. There you go. Uh, I think I noticed here as well. Um, never too late to do this. You see this sort of like metal on metal parts here, little plastic there. You might as well use your silicone tools here. You know, silicone spray. You might as well get to it. Now. Again, when's the next time we're going to get to it? Who knows? Okay, you're going to want to do that. Now you've kind of peeled off the double-sided tape. Now, this is what I'm using. I'm using this molding, you know, obviously I mentioned it before. It's molding repair tape. Uh, you could use 
butanol tape, but again, you gotta, you gotta make sure you use something awfully sticky. I mean, this thing kind of has a little bit of tackiness already. Um, so again, you just gonna wanna make sure you get the whole piece, you know, make sure it's nice. You know, you get it all, you know, get it all up here as well. And once you're comfortable with it, then at that point, you'll start sticking it on. And there you go. You can actually start to see it there that it's actually got a pretty, a pretty good bond. Okay. All right. So with that, we are now done. Thanks for watching Handy Val. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye for now.